D. Gustation. Got your dog knock sack. I wanna get you off my back. You're slipping around like a clown. Yo, mama's gonna turn you upside down. Take your slimy worm at home. To the compost heap where you belong. Can tell your butthole from. Nice ride. You know, this Honda Civic 2002, you know, 2002 was a great year for me. The way to go. It's got, you can unlock it, lock it. Actually the windows, there's this button that you press and actually go go down, you don't, they don't have the wheel. What? This button you press and they... They go down, do you want to see? Yeah. Wait a second, stay there. Hold, hold I, don't, I don't understand. No, it's not, you said 2002, not 3002. I know, right? <laughs> don't drive away. It's amazing. I can hardly believe it. Can you still hear me with the window up? It's sweet. Do the thing with the windows again. And up. <gasps> this and is down. the future. And the future up. is now. And down. Speaking to you on the phone <laughs> in my car. <laughs> How are you? Hey, Drana. <laughs> Yeah, you know, cars are the best place to dance. So People go to clubs, but I'm just like sitting in the car. No one's watching. Hey, we can even put some gangster rapping music on, maybe. If I know where it is. No. Oh, what's this? I've never actually listened to this. I think this is gangster rapping, actually. I hope so. It's pretty it much all like, It's kind of what I listen to now is gangster rap. Mm. It's either our our stuff or inspiration. Yeah. I've got no oh god, no, maybe not. I'd like to try. Mm. A little bit soft. It's a bit soft. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is it. It's the best new music and we love it. Yes it is. Yes we do. So we first started gangster rapping like was it two, three years ago? Was it? I mean like for real. Yeah, know, for real. I mean really since birth more or less in various forms but yeah. like when we realized probably even before Beth realized the gift yeah probably like yeah. in the womb I was rapping yeah I know my mum said they're yeah. dancing they say babies are kicking but they're not they're rapping they're rapping they're, it's just that kind of movement <laughs> that they can feel the, that yeah 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 but yeah probably two three years ago since when we realized the gift yeah. You know, we realised not everyone was like us. Not everyone. In fact, no one. Really? <laughs> yeah, I have so, to agree. Like, yeah. some people think that they can rap. And, you know, they can. But not like us. Yeah. Because we're rapping about real life. Yeah. Not it's like ghetto. It's, yeah, that's right. It's like a rap with a slap. Like, you yeah. know, it's not just ma 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 ma. It's like, no 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 no. Yeah. Yeah. Rap right, with a slap. Absolutely. I think that's fair. What I was thinking is I could, play, <laughs> I could play you my song and you could write down what comes to mind. Okay. About like lyrics or? Yeah. Well, okay. just the whole vibe. Okay. Am I like giving an overview or? Just no, 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 no. No, you no. Like, we want to write words to rap. Oh, lyrics. so this lyrics. Right. Yeah. Right, I'm with you. I'm with you. Dodgy dog. You like it? <laughs> okay. Dodgy dog knapsack. Take me down to the rap. I'm coming back for a nap. After I put you in my sack. <laughs> <laughs> I, I like okay, that. Yeah. That's dodgy, dodgy dog. dog knapsack. Yes. What about I want to get you off my back? Oh, yes. This can be like bad on a manager. Me and my sister are in the studio and we've just 
finished setting down our, our latest, just getting by. It brings out a lot of uh, emotion in me. Um, you know, we spent many, many, many months, years, trying to find a manager that really understood us. Then we we found this dog, <laughs> this dodgy dog, knapsack, mm -hmm. just wanted to fill his knapsack with money. <laughs> mofo. <laughs> yeah, mofo, oh. filling his dodgy dog knapsack <laughs> with our funds. And uh, we were like, no, nah, we can get by on our own. Dodgy dog knapsack. I wanna get you off my back. You're slipping round like a clown. Yo, mama's gonna turn you upside down. <laughs> I like it. I mean, as you can see presently, we're not actually in professional studio. I mean, I well, it's just it's my it's my room, and um, well, but it it's works. Just, it's fine. I mean, it's studio bedroom. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. It does everything we need. I've got a computer. Like, it does everything we need it to do. I've got editing software. I mean, you know, gang gangst rap doesn't happen in the studio. It's not where it happens. It happens in the bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. It happens in the bedroom, especially if you're a man. If you're manly. If you're a manly man. <laughs> like my sister here. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, yeah. We're, we're, it's authentic. It's the real thing. Grassroots. Gangster rap. Um, and I have to say, the acoustics in here are just... Like, you can't even actually imagine. It's just... My heart stops when we do our thing. What, you know? what we're doing, no one else is doing. <laughs> so, that in itself, obviously, is a testament to the quality of our efforts and um, what we're doing is new and original and you will hear that when you hear our track. No one's no one's rapping like us. Take your slime and worm at home. You dropped him like a piece of toast but a bus I don't even show. We kicked him in the rubbish bin. Now we're getting by without him. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you know, started from a young age. First of all, it just started off birthdays, Christmas, you know, wrapping, wrapping gifts. Mm -hmm. And then... Especially around Christmas time. All the wrapping. Because I have a friend whose birthday is around Christmas as well, so it's twice as much wrapping. Mm -hmm. So And then, and then you thought, why don't you make a career out of it? And yeah. uh, did some research on Google, came up with this kind of uh, this kind of soul music, and, you know, from then on, it's been tough. It hasn't been easy. Yeah, it's not been easy. You know, it's all very well when you come from, like, Privileged you know. background. <clears throat> yeah, privileged, you know. Anyone can rap from a privileged background. <laughs> That's, That's right. The, you know, it's not no skill involved there. Yeah. So, obviously, we come from a middle class background where we got so much inspiration in everyday life. I mm. mean, sometimes. But it's not easy to have access to, like, you know, we don't get to see no shootings. We no, don't no. have no gangs. What are we meant to do? It's hard for us. We don't have gun violence, so we can't, you know, use that as inspiration. We have, we don't have, like pose as our muses so what do we do you gotta wrap up what you know yeah um, yeah we're gonna try get just getting by can't afford to moisturize dry the eyes just getting <laughs> pick it up we're gonna try Don't just get in by Can't afford to moisturize Dry thighs just get in by Yeah. No, I mean, but do you remember how it started? Mm. Let's go back in time. We just came home from work and I said to her, Hey, Drena. And I said, Hey, Garly. Hey, Garly. Hey. And I said, You know, today at work, I was speaking to this chap and he looked at me 
and said, do you know how to rap? <gasps> what did you say? I said, rap? What, with my trap? You mean, like a verbal slap? Oh my God, I'm doing it right now. I'm pretty much... But how, how, golly, how? Well, it just came from the flow, from high to down low. <laughs> <laughs> and did you realise you're a hoe? Well... For the words and the dough? The dough came later, but I said, hey, mater. I'm not a hater. Let's get together and create her. And that was the moment. So let me get this straight. You realised you're a rapper. And in telling me the story about you realising you're a rapper, I realised I'm a rapper. <laughs> that was so we're, both, we're both rappers. Wow. Wow, what are we going to do? I mean... It's a bit of responsibility, you know? It is. I mean... We have a responsibility to create I have, badass raps. That's it. I mean, we're going to have people. to gonna have to leave our jobs. My job is a building <laughs> construction supervisor. And you're going to have to leave your jobs as a no, Alicia job. Keys impersonator. <laughs> Okay. Huh. Rhyming. Huh. Ready. Go. Keys. Peace. Glove. Love. Window. Cindo. Orange. Orange. Clive. I'm alive. Leaf. Don't be brief. Brick wall. Low. Car window sill. Like a dum ba da 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 Air conditioning. You can't do that. You always choose the worst rhymes. Me? No, you're I'm trying, trying to catch me out. You're trying to catch me no, out. I'm trying to challenge you. You always pick the easy ones that are too easy and there's too many options. We need to, if we're going to be serious rappers, we need to be able to rhyme with things like air conditioning. What about bear conditioning? What's bear conditioning? Haven't you ever been to Canada? I'm feeling well, like I have an extreme either. decrease in uh, confidence right now, Drana. Maybe we're just not ready. There's people, there's an audience out there waiting for us. We need to get out of the car and go go inside. But we can't do it until we're ready. And if we're not ready, we should just drive away. You, you, you can drive away. And I'll be in the car too. No, we've got to keep going. We've got to keep going. We've got to keep finding the, the hardest rhymes. You're right, you're right, you're right. Mm -hmm. Roundabout. Found a... Trout. Trout. <laughs> Roundabout. Roundabout. I found a trout. It was lying in the middle of the road. Now we can make a rhyme with all, we can make a rap with all our rhymes. Found about, I found a trout, lying in the middle of the road. It's been ran over oh. by a Range Rover. All right, I think we're ready. I think we're ready. Yeah, ready? Plus, we better be ready because it's time okay. to go. Yeah. Yeah, okay. <sighs> okay, let's go. One, okay. two, three. <laughs> you told me it was a three plus venue, not a karaoke booth. <laughs> I didn't know it was a karaoke booth. I thought that at least the staff might come and watch us. 
<laughs> Will you find the gig next time? I've done all I can do. We've got to work our way this up to the... This is a two-man team. Two... Duo. Two-person duo. I can't duo on my own. I'd just be a one-o. I don't know if I can carry on. Gangster rapping or... I think we need to find a manager. I can't do, you do it. Anybody? You can't do it. No. There was this... this this guy that used to walk my dog. Oh yeah, sounds a little bit dodgy. <laughs> he sounds like exactly the kind of character we need. We need to spice up our lives. Yeah, I'll get in contact with him. I mean, if he can manage dogs, he can sure manage some us. bitches like us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Mm. But uh Call him. We'll call him. I've got call him now. Have you got his number? Sorry. I think I gave you his number that time. <laughs> what was you, his name? You wanted him to see if he did cats as well. Oh yeah. Um Drake <laughs> Bernberger. Have a look. <clears throat> Drake. Drake Drake Bernberger? Yeah. I've got a couple of Drake Bernbergers. <laughs> Which um, one is he? Middle name. Is it one that starts zero four one eight? Um, no. I th I remember his phone number. It's zero four two eight. Okay, 04 so it's two eight okay. three. Yeah. All right. Okay. okay. Middle name. I don't have his middle name. Lawrence, I think. You have his middle name. He's very proud sure. of that. Cause it's like uh, Lawrence. Lawrence, Lawrence of Arabia. I was thinking Lawrence of Olivier. You have to speak loud. The dog's about. Hello? Is that Drake Lawrence? Yeah, it is. Okay, so my name is um, Draina, and I'm friends with Garly, and I think you walk her dog sometimes. Yes. Yeah, so we're good friends. And she's basically, we're gangster rappers, and we were just wondering if you would consider managing... Uh, us, yeah. yeah. Oh, you tell him I can drive him in the Honda Civic. So, Gali says she can pick you up in the car, the 2002, in the 2002 Honda Civic. Her car, yeah, yeah, it's her car. Yeah, yeah, it's actually mine. It's actually her, it's not her parents. Um, and and then you could we could go and talk about it somewhere. Well, I don't know about we don't really make any money at the moment um but we can see i mean hopefully that's that's where you come into it to make us some money um yeah fan so yeah so this is my number so you can call me back on this number once you have a think about it and then we can go from there mr drake lawrence yes fantastic so my name a drainer is my name yes oh this sounds really good okay fantastic um oh yes yeah well ha happy um dog Good, good luck. Bye. Oh my god, if we get Drake on board, oh my god, we'll just be flying. I thought he'd say no for sure. He's got so many dogs in his hand. He said, he said maybe. He said maybe. Maybe. He said he'll think about it. He was currently, he was, he was walking some dogs. In fact, is that him? Is that him? Oi! I drove out the window. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. I just spoke to him on the phone. I can't no, see him in person. Nah, come on. It's so Drake. embarrassing.
this place after all. So it's really going really well. Um, we've recorded our new song, um, Just Getting By, which is it's a very personal song for us. It's about um, our old manager. Drake Lawrence, who let us down in the worst possible way. Uh, apparently, when I called him up, he didn't realise that we were asking him to be the manager of a rap group. He thought we wanted him to manage a wrapping paper store. And um, I mean, as if that's better. I mean, that's what he wanted. I mean, and and we offered him something far superior. You know, a real career move. I mean, uh, wrapping stores—it must be seasonal as well. I mean, wrapping is not seasonal. It's no, all our wrapping, our wrapping is for all seasons, um, and so you know we just dropped him, and we're better off without him. He was very negative, very, um, you know, he's not, he's never going to achieve anything. No, 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 no. He's just going to not even in, not even in wrapping. I mean, at all, not no. wrapping paper or or gangster wrapping. No. So um, no, no. But we found that our what, what, the record that we did produce under his guidance. Um, Rap for Against a Lover, that was a great success, and that's what's brought us to this point that we're at right that's now. That's right, it's all part of the so, process. Yeah, it's not it's so part bad, of the process. Really. Um, it, went, it went off like a frog in a sock. We played a few concerts at, um, at concert venues, you know, as well as some karaoke bars, but they unfortunately don't have our songs, so we're a bit limited. So, um, no, it's definitely a very positive and bright future, and, and we're really excited, and we're currently filming the video clip for our, for our next song. Yeah, and, so um, watch out. Check it out. On YouTube, you'll see it. Degas Station. Yeah. Degustation. 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 Crustation. The ocean. Evolution. Hmm. <laughs> 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 It was like I was underage. I felt so excited. I felt so excited. Oh, so excited. So that so, I jumped so, in the so, air. So I could out my hand. I believe my eyes when I saw his tambourine. Oh, the size was amazing. It fitted in the palm of his hand. So and he so easily. I was a tambourine And I could be played Like a dream By the tambourine man With floppy hair Who made me feel right I just didn't care I fell in love With the tambourine man Until I saw him up close I saw his mm. nose, it was covered in moles. <laughs> I saw his lips, they were covered in slips, chips. He looked a little bit like someone who would be friends with Napoleon Dynamite, but not in an indie cool way. No way. We kind of thought that he was part of the band, but I think he, he was, was just more giving of a stand <laughs> I kind of thought this tambourine man changed my life, but then I don't know if that's true. I couldn't ever be his wife. Just we were clean. kind of mistaken. Uh, 
So now things are looking up. My dreams are just unleashed. You know, I've always wanted to rap freestyle, you know, just no planning at like Central Gallery. You know, they've got that stage there with skylights. It'd just be great to bring it to the, you know, the, the real people. You know, I've, I've just always wanted to go to Geraldton and um, now I can do that, you know. We can hire a car, pop on a CD and wrap our way to heaven. But I'm Geraldton, lie on the beach, have some beers, you know, yeah.